When trying to put your iPhone in DFU mode, sometimes you'll end up with just the Apple logo or iTunes logo on your iPhone, and you can still go into DFU mode with those logos on there. So first, I'm going to show you, they're both exactly the same, the process is the same. So basically, it um, still has to be connected to your computer. Um, so I'm going to press power, Apple logo is up, you want to press both buttons at the same time, wait until the Apple logo goes away, count one, two, three, let go of power, keep holding home, never let go of home. You wait again until your computer reacts, seems like it's loading something, usually 15 seconds is more than enough, it's been about 15 seconds, so I'm going to let go of home now. I'm going to test DFU by pressing the power button without holding home. If the Apple logo comes on, then you're not in DFU. As you can see, I'm holding down power, no Apple logo. So right now this iPhone is in DFU mode. So to put your phone in recovery mode, for whatever reason, usually we don't ever use recovery mode, but if you need it, you hold home and power and just continue to hold them. It'll be an iTunes logo instead of the Apple logo, and sometimes you'll end up with this logo um, when trying to enter DFU mode. And it's the exact same steps as from Apple logo. I'll just show you one more time. So this is the iTunes logo. It's just like the Apple logo. Right now I'm not holding home, not holding power. Same thing. I'm just going to start by clicking both of them at the same time, waiting for the screen to go blank. Mm -hmm. and count one, two, three, let go of power, keep holding home for approximately 15 seconds or until my computer says it has recognized something. Um, I just heard my computer go off, so I'm going to go ahead and let go of the home button and test it again. As long as no Apple logo comes up, within, within two seconds it should come up. So phone's in DFU mode once again. That's how it's done. Thank you.